cheat code engaged. All right, check it out, everybody. Chris with Up North Air Gunner, and I am here with Josh from Pursuit of Accuracy. What's going on, guys? So we are out here today in Wilmington, North Carolina, headquarters of FXUSA, and we're claiming this island officially as FX Island. So check this out. Intercoastal area, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful sunsets, but you know what I love? We've got 300 yards to play with. Got it! Right, yep. Yeah, this is the perfect place to shoot and the perfect place to test out some new equipment from FX. Why don't you tell them what we got going on with that M3 today, Chris? Awesome. Thanks, Josh. We've got the FX uh, Impact M3. We're getting really close to 22 long rifle, match grade ammunition, power and precision. But I am here today to tell you, and I'm making this official announcement, we've got the, both the power and the precision with 40 grain slugs with this 800 millimeter barrel and some secret sauce going on right here with this power block. And we also have this absolutely amazing innovation inside a tungsten hammer spring guide. And I'll tell you what, to get up to, get up to these powers for the first time ever, we're now able to really kind of start pushing some things on these regulated pressures. And I'm really excited about this as a rimfire guy, I competitively shoot this rifle and the innovation that's happening in the air rifle world is pretty crazy and that's why I'm out here because when I left 10 years ago, I left and quit messing with air rifles because when you wanted to shoot slugs, they were just all over the place. And so today this is gonna be the perfect proving ground to see if something like this M3 with all these mods can hang with a tried and true CZ 457, so. All right, so before we do this uh, long range head to head with Josh and I, you know, we've been here for an entire week at FX USA, but uh, Josh and I wanna show you some of these new products because there's a stuff that's going on in the FX Impact, but there's also a lot of this new, uh, these new accessories that are coming out yeah. from, we got the Sabre Tactical and the GRS. Yeah, the GRS bipod and the GRS shooting bag. So let's check out the shop and uh, let's check out these accessories, let's go. So the first accessory here, if you are pushing your uh, FX impact really hard, shooting some of these heavy for caliber slugs, you really want to stiffen up this barrel profile. And that is really what the FX tensioner really does. And especially with the 800 millimeter um, barrel, with all this extra barrel hanging out there, getting that as tensioned as possible is going to help out your groups a ton. This also comes in different sizes. I'm gonna be putting this on my 700 millimeter barrel. All right, so what we've got going on inside of this tensioning system is the new 800 millimeter barrel. And I'll tell you what, if you wanna shoot slugs fast and heavy for caliber stuff in 22, this right here is absolutely a game changer. It is a one in 14 twist, which means we can spin those heavy for caliber slugs like the 40 grains. Proper spin stabilization in the groups I'm getting with this thing is absolutely sick. So that 800 millimeters, based on my research, from 700, which is right about here, to 800, that additional roughly four inches of length is going to give you probably between, let's say, 30 to 35 feet more feet per second on the exact same regulated pressure. So it's almost just like free power <laughs> by adding on just that little bit of length. And if you look at it, it does not look too long. I mean, I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, it's gonna be too long. This right here is actually still shorter than my CC457 with a 21 inch barrel. And the reason being, it's a bullpup. So you got all that barrel right there going all the way back to the block. So you've got that full runway to really push those slugs fast. So let's check it out real quick how to install it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, tensioning uh, carbon fiber sleeve on this. And the way this works is that is actually pushing up against the barrel holder that's up here underneath the frame. And when we slide this in here, you're gonna take your uh, end cap tensioning nut and that just goes on here like this. All right, so another uh, important tip when you are putting a barrel tensioner onto whatever size uh, barrel system you have, you basically have three tension points. You have one here, you have one here at the block, and then you have the retaining grub screw here at the rear. So once you slide that in and you get your kit all put together, you wanna start and tighten this one down first, tighten this one down so it's actually clamping down on the barrel really tight, and then you want to tension it. If you don't have this 
or this set really tight, what's gonna happen is your brass uh, transfer port right there is gonna start recessing back into the block and you're gonna have magazine uh, loading issues. Yeah, it's gonna be covering up your transfer port. You're gonna have performance issues. So definitely you wanna do that in that order. All right, so what we have found is the best thing to do is you're gonna get on here pretty tight and just give it one more oomph. Now, this can affect the harmonic signature of your barrel. So if you really wanna get geeky, you could probably get a torque wrench and get this down to the exact inch pounds and like document that, try a couple different tensions. But for us, we found, you know, tight and a good crank. And that is a providing a ton of stiffness to that barrel but again if you really want to geek out on this i'd get a torque wrench document your inch pounds try different uh, tensions and that definitely is going to affect the harmonic sig signature of your barrel but pretty simple throw on your don efl and you are ready to rock all right so the next accessory is we got the saber tactical trs rail and this is absolutely a work of art it's just absolutely beautiful very tactical but it is very functional. They developed this using this system here for maximum rigidity. And on top of it, we've got the GRS over the top bipod. And I'll tell you what, shooting this thing, having your barrel underneath your bipod, it is a entirely different feeling when you're getting just that barrel down so low to the bench, or if you're shooting prone, I just feel so much more in control of the gun. Um, I didn't think I was going to actually like this at first, just so I'm so accustomed of having bipods here at the bottom. But whew, tell you what, when you go to one of these, you're going to probably be ruined forever. So here we go. We have got the power block. And the way this has been described to me is the basically you think of like porting and polishing, you know, carburetors for like muscle cars, right? You're getting that air efficiency, just being able to go around the valve and have just a cleaner flow up into your transfer port you're going to get a lot more efficiency higher power at any given pressure with this thing and this comes as a complete kit you're going to need to get another power plenum it comes with a block and it actually comes with a different valve housing inside so that all comes as a kit all right so one of the accessories that i am really excited about that you can't even see it's on the inside is the tungsten hammer spring guide and what that's doing is when you're shooting higher pressures like i typically do in that like 160 170 range it's not opening up the valve all the way you know before we were getting really good high power now this year you're going to get really good high power at 170 bar with that tungsten hammer spring guide all right so real quick before we start cranking this thing out um when we put the uh the tungsten um hammer spring guide in there it's gonna allow you to run at higher reg pressures but within spec within warranty you want to keep that below 170 bar so we're at 168 bar and we are shooting right at a thousand feet per second so just as a point of reference still 40 grain slugs at a thousand feet per second at 168 170 bar i mean that's just that's still smoking fast but now that we've got the tungsten in here let's go ahead and crank it up a little bit more and i want to see if i can hit 22 lr match grade ammo speed which is around that 10 40 10 50 so let's see if we can hit it here we go So one of the things we also want to talk about, I mean, obviously, you know, we're both pretty mechanically inclined, right? Yeah. And we, you know, both of us learned a lot this week from yeah, Ernest. Definitely. <laughs> taking things apart, putting things back together. But obviously there's a lot of air gunners out there, people yeah. just getting into air guns that don't want to have to, you know, take everything apart and have the special tools yeah, to get everything. Definitely. So, you know, I definitely think, you know, Utah air guns is probably the number one place yeah. to go with their custom shop. If you really yeah. want to get these parts installed or have anything custom or modded or Cerakoted or dipped, yeah. Justin's crew over there just yeah. absolutely awesome. And the good thing is you don't even need to know all the technical names of all this. Mm -hmm. Just call up Justin, those guys at the custom shop and say, hey, yeah, that new setup for the 22, I want that. And they'll be able to like price and spec that out for you and tell you what you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. And then they'll be able to just facilitate that whole process. Cause those guys are like the tuning masters oh, yeah. of, and yeah, like 
those guys can tune impacts like nobody's oh, business. So. All right, so now we got this thing shooting super crazy hard, super fast, but you know, with FX, it's all about precision first. If you have just power, you know, for the sake of it, <laughs> that doesn't do anything for you if you can't hit anything. So let's go check to see what kind of precision and accuracy we're getting with this. So I knew when I wound this gun up to be shooting this hard, the first thing you guys were gonna say was there's no way that can be consistently accurate. Uh, we hear a lot of times like, you know, there's these specific uh, velocities where only ammunition can be accurate. And, you know, one of the things I wanted to test in talking with Josh, obviously they're t shooting 22 long rifle and they're shooting anywhere from like, you know, 1,050 up to 1,100 feet per second. And, you know, ballistically speaking, we should be able to find a higher velocity and be able to hold really good groups. And so for all this testing, we're gonna be using the Patriot Javelin 40 grain slugs and they do a ton of modeling and testing and R&D on these things. So yeah, I absolutely love these slugs. The fit and finish on these are absolutely amazing. Um, so what I really wanna do, and I really like how Josh on his channel, he does those uh, really no BS, five shot groups and five of them consecutively unedited to really give you this idea of like the shot dispersion that you can expect. You know, obviously, you know, we like showing some of our best groups and we usually like showing what the gun can do. Um, but I think for this test, and now that we're actually pushing this thing so hard, I think to be completely transparent, it's, it's really important to show you, you know, that, that this is repeatable and not that we're just kind of cherry picking one group or over another. So um, let's shoot five five shot groups and see what it can do. Let's go. Here we go, top rope. Got some FX impacts coming for you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing of like pushing this thing so hard, your shot count is not gonna be great unless you're running like a 300 bar bottle, which I will definitely be adding later on. Yeah, 300 bar bottle is gonna be killer on that thing. All right, go check it out. All right. Well, Chris, you know I gotta shoot this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. All right, let's see what we got here. So we've got four touching, one little flyer there, and we'll measure these with the uh, ballistics X app here in a minute, but all decent. But then Josh, who's obviously a better group shooter <laughs> than me. Decent. Yeah, little, I have my little flyers too. A flyer there, all touching. But yeah, those look pretty good, man. So again, um, you know what we're doing here with the uh, impact? We got this thing totally wound out, and we yeah. haven't even tuned this pushing thing at it all. real hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, if we're not pushing it super hard, and we suck it back in a little bit, and actually start tuning it, we can probably tune out these flyers and end up with these. All these. If you pull this one into this group, pull this one in pull like the little outliers in and that becomes like really really good yeah and that's the huge difference between you know the air air rifles and 22 lrs it's like you know you, yeah. you got what you got right so yeah but again yeah. just winding it all the way up you know i don't know i'd say minute of angle ish yeah so all right we'll measure those and let's push it out to 85. all right we're gonna shoot a sight around that fx just to the left of the upper left target here we go
That's how it's done. Let's go check that out. Two pretty good groups. So my point of aim right here, I was doing some scope adjustment. I was holding her at the upper left edge of the F. Really good there. Brought it back over into the bullseye. Sub MOA, baby. 40 grain javelins going over 1,050 feet per second. All right, let's take it outside. And we're going to uh, challenge Josh to a uh, head to head. Let's go check it out. What do you say we just let the bulls do the talking, Chris? From here now, let's do it, man. All right, All let's right, go. Let's hit it. Yep. Right to left. All right, right to left. I've got the uh, first shot. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Oh! 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 I'm way off. Bingo! Okay. Oh! 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 Go oh, now. Oh, one to one. Got it. Uh, oh, two to one. Two to one, baby. Oh, pretty top. Oh, me too. Oh, right under it. Oh. 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 Did you get a point for hitting that one twice. Oh. No, you just stopped. That yeah. watch standing up. Front Get it. Oh, no, that's a... oh, come on. You don't cut the ricochet. Oh, and no. I get to the right of that. <laughs> it's the wrong can. Get it right behind it. Right, here we go. Got it. Oh, oh, nice. Two, here we go. Oh, nice. Got it. All right, so me and Chris Turk out here have been shooting cans all day, and the CZ has been whooping a little bit of butt, Not but this much. is a tried and true competition rifle. You'll see some of that footage. We'll play it back. The audio is a little jacked. There's one can left, so we're going to give Chris first shot at it. Let him get a little redemption, but I can tell you this. This is not the air rifle that you remember from years back. This M3 and the new improvements, I mean, when he's missing, he's missing by inches, but this thing has definitely been holding its own, and I'm really super impressed. So Chris, let's see if you can get that can before me. All right, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Both of us. Oh, oh how did that miss? Oh no! Just left of it. Oh! Oh! oh. God! There it is. Oh. oh! Too much. Oh! <laughs> so we were both all around it there. As the sun sets lower and lower, the wind has really picked up and it's made these really challenging. But for this M3 to be shooting at soda cans at 300 yards and it's missing by inches, and I'm missing too, I'm not hitting every can out here. Yeah. That's a small target at 300 yards and we're out here on the intercoastal in the wind. This thing is pretty freaking amazing. Yeah, yeah you've got me by a little bit of BC with your slugs. I yeah. Mean, yeah, I mean the velocity, I think you actually got me by about what, uh, 60 feet per second, 40 feet per second, yeah. but that BC is just a little bit more. But, but what's got me what. jazzed up about this thing really is that Ely Ammunition, Lapua, all these guys have been making precision decades. rimfire ammunition for decades. Yeah. The BC's not getting any better. 
this is just starting its yep. journey into being like a competitive level precision rifle. And this is gonna be something that I shoot in NRL 22. Yep. And I am amazed. I thought that you could not buck the wind out here like this today yep. without shooting a 35 cal. I actually just converted my M3 to 30. And when we get back, with the grace of God and John, I might convert it back to a 22 and see what we got. Yeah, I mean, this is absolutely awesome. You know, I've done a lot of long range shooting with big bore stuff. To be able to do this with a small bore caliber gun like this. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty awesome. I mean, the BC on this is probably around 0 0.14, 0 0.15, but it's, you know, we've got a really kind of a gusty wind here. I don't yeah, know, I mean, it, it's not calm. I mean, and that's really not doing it any justice because we're down on this knoll. Uh, but we'll, I'll bring out the Kestrel yeah. and I'll get a wind reading too, because I'm kind of curious. <laughs> man that was not a bad start i got a couple no yeah that's uh it was surprised me it's actually kind of scary because when i saw you miss the first one when we first started shooting those series and yep. you missed by an inch yep. and not a mile i was like uh oh so <laughs> awesome well thanks for coming out here with me man this is no super i appreciate fun. everybody having me i'm super excited to see what this is only gonna everything's just gonna get better from here so i'm really excited to be part of this josh uh oh! Welcome to the FX family. But Thank you. We always do. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we got to eat our kill. All right. In this sense, drink the blood of our victim of your here. Victim, so I yeah. think there's a 22 bull in there. <laughs> That's just seasoning, man. Mm. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Awesome it was awesome. Thank you. All right. So there's everybody. Josh had me on this round, but this was absolutely awesome coming out here with the FX Impact M3 with that 800 millimeter barrel, being able to push those 40 grain slugs that fast in this kind of wind. That is a game changer. Thanks everybody for joining me. Take care.